Hi guys, Dave uh, from MetabolicCooking.com with my better half Karen, the lean kitchen queen. And Hi. we're here today with our good friend uh, Adam Steer from BodyWeightCoach.com. How you guys doing? Great. Not yeah. glad at all. Glad to have you at the place. <laughs> Thanks. Exactly. Thank you very much. Shapeshifter Media Central. <laughs> right here. All right. So today uh, we were having coffee this morning, and uh, we kind of came up with a really, really good recipe, and we decided to add it last minute um, to the metabolic cooking uh, package. And it was his idea. Yes, I owe him Gotta copyrights see. now, I don't know. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I was gonna say, if you've been hanging around for a while, you know through Ryan that I have a bread addiction, but I also have a serious coffee addiction. So we're hanging out over our uh, mid-morning espresso this morning, talking about the thermo-charged shakes, and I said, well, we need a thermo-chino. So, the thermo-chino. We, we uh, put our heads together and we came up with this awesome recipe. And the thermochino was born. There yes. you go. Yeah. Um, Thank you. So just like any uh, other uh, metabolic thermocharge, uh, metabolicious smoothies recipes that we have, uh, this one has all kinds of metabolic boosting properties. Um, so we can start basically like the base ingredient. It's a, a thermochino. So we have a cup of yeah. cappuccino. Yeah. A little espresso that we, uh, we brewed earlier. Of cappuccino, it's a cappuccino, a cup of espresso that we yeah. brewed. Actually, it's, it's cold espresso now. And um, we'll tell you why. A, it's gonna be a thermochino soon. Yeah. Exactly. So because the smoothie needs to be cold. Uh, we have ice cubes, about five ice cubes. Let me put those in last. Huh? Last? Oh, you want to put them in last? Sure. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we have the ice cubes. The cool thing with ice cubes is just like it plays on your, it has a thermogenic effect. Uh, as well is that you know just like for example people use um, I think like cold baths mm -hmm. cold baths that in order like to reduce um, their body heat mm -hmm. pretty much and uh, that way your body has to kind of fight and, and kind of burn more calories and use more energies to bring the the heat the body heat back up to normal mm -hmm. uh, so that's the thermogenic effect of ice and that kind of uh, is the same thing with, with ice kind of uh, because of the cold your body has to fight a little bit more brings uh, use a little bit more energy in order to uh, bring that that body temperature to normal state mm -hmm. I mean it's an addition of little things that we use in our shakes you know that create yeah. that metabolic effect it's not just the ice or the spices we use or the protein mm -hmm. it's just a combination of everything that make it makes it metabolic thermal charge yeah. and like we were talking about earlier you know if you're doing everything else right you might as well use these little tricks that'll push you that much further ahead every time you use them exactly mm -hmm. so, the, so the more you add it you know the addition of all these meals and shakes and, and tricks is going to help you out in boosting your metabolism mm -hmm. uh, on the long run um, next ingredient we have some Greek yogurt so yes. maybe if you want to add that in, sure. we've got about a quarter cup of Greek yogurt. Actually, we love Greek yogurt because it's high in protein and it had that um, texture to that creamy texture. Creamy yeah, texture. Nice creamy for yeah. Chino. Perfect. Yeah. Chino equals creamy. Yes. Yeah. So uh, a little yeah. bit of um, Greek yogurt is going to add that creamy taste and creamy texture to it. Yeah. Um, now we have a little bit of cinnamon. Mm. So about. I always say a pinch of cinnamon for most recipes, but you can use as much as you want. It's, it's that kind of super spice that you can add uh, to your recipes and that has actually multiple uh, virtues. Um, it's really good to, um, to level your blood sugar levels. Uh, it's gonna boost your immune system as well. Um, yeah, many, many other like healthy properties mm -hmm. uh, that is gonna help you uh, make your body more healthy, healthier basically and help you burn more calories on the long run because I mean a healthy body equals better metabolic functions equals more fat burning mm -hmm. basically that's as simple yeah. as that so that kind of super spice you can use with with everything it tastes great as well yeah all right so we had that cinnamon Less. now oh. stevia <laughs> Adam's favorite <laughs> he has a sweet tooth stevia is a natural sweetener all right like it's 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 a plant, it's plant baby. It's made from a plant. Oh, it's cool. And um, Adam has a huge sweet tooth, and that thing's super sweet. So just like half a teaspoon, I think. Actually, half a teaspoon is a lot. <laughs> you think half a teaspoon is enough? Yeah, half that's a teaspoon. probably too much. Yeah. Yeah. Just like uh, yes. yeah, but like that's probably yeah. good. Half, one third of a teaspoon. I mean, it's very very sweet, and usually a pinch is enough. Like in most recipes, 
You can if add. If I'm just, not around, a pinch is enough. If Adam's not around, we just use a <laughs> we just use a pinch of stevia. When he's around, we use like half a teaspoon. <laughs> but it's very sweet. You don't have to use much to give a little, a um, little more, uh, to get a meal more sweeter, sweeter yeah. sauce. So. There we go, so stevia, and last but not least, we got protein powder. Uh, here my favorite uh, type of protein, favorite brand, it's uh, IsoSmooth from Blue Star. Uh, it's very high quality protein, and it's very, like the, the protein content per scoop is very high, it's 30 grams of protein. And uh, actually Adam and I are pretty good, good yeah. friends with the owner, we know yeah. him pretty well, so we, we kind of trust the quality of that brand. And uh, it's good quality, so, and tastes really good, the protein flavor is really good. So there you go. There you go. It's about 30 grams of protein. The thing with protein, it's one of the, nice. one of these micro, uh, macronutrients that um, your body is gonna burn more calories digesting uh, protein. Uh, so it's gonna help as well boosting your metabolism and, and burn more body fat. Uh, so we added the ice and we're gonna use uh, Adam's super blend blender. tech blender. To Set smoothie. to smoothie. Check this out. The speed's gonna change automatically. The funny thing, like Adam received that his new blender a couple days ago, and he's been actually testing pretty much all of our metabolish smoothies uh, to try his new blender. So that's pretty funny to see him going in the house, like doing like four shake, four, four smoothies a day. So when you get metabolic cooking, don't worry, all the smoothies have been tested. <laughs> <laughs> they are body weight coach approved, I guess. Yeah. Right. Look yeah. at that, nice and creamy. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Cheers. 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 The thermochino. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Really it tastes like awesome. it's a cappuccino type of uh, yeah. of texture. Perfect. You can really feel the cinnamon and oh, oh my god, it's creamy. It's perfect. Yeah. Ryan would love this. I think oh. so. Yeah. Anyway, the thermochino, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.